Yesterday I have seen um, in the news how one marriage agency deceived a lot of clients and uh, took a lot of money from them and uh, then they just uh, almost disappeared but thanks God the police caught them and now they are uh, in jail so and um, I'm in the street my friends in Malmö so and uh, what I would like to share with you so uh, this agency took a lot of money and also they uh, gave service to clients like uh, visiting psychologists and then they showed one of these so-called psychologists and uh, she, yeah she was she has she, I would say she was psychologist or she had a diploma anyway I'm sure and she said oh in marriage agency uh, ladies go because they cannot find uh, a man uh, themselves and they are so weak so weak that they need our help so my friends a question why do you exist if you don't want people in this case ladies who would like to have regular normal life as in bible says that we need to find a couple so why if you don't need to want to help why you call yourself psychologist and why you get such an education so my friends i think it was very cruel and i will tell you my experience many years ago i knew one girl uh, we were studying together she was a psychotherapist uh, and psychiatrist and uh, she really helped people she was really kind as a doctor but as a person she laughed at her patients she also had a lot of patients that were ladies that wanted to find uh, somebody and uh, this lady she was about 30 she was not married herself everything was very good with money in her life but she was not married herself so my friends what i wanted also to say that um, uh, our um, uh, way how we live and people that are around us they also make their business and uh, even that lady psychiatrist was kind but uh, in general uh, where i come from ladies are not treated well and if you are on the way to get married, uh, you can hear like that, oh, you are supposed to live on his money, you don't want uh, to work. So it's something like that. Or if you're not married, you can hear, oh, of course, nobody can take care of you. So it is something wrong about marriage in the place where I come from. So it's a lot of... Uh, I can say unhealthy reaction on that and ladies uh, do not support each other What I can tell you about Swedish ladies I have never heard that uh, Any lady was laughing at another lady that she would like to find a boyfriend uh, Several weeks ago. I met in the evening my colleague she was uh, on the way to the pub she's young very beautiful lady girl you can say and uh, <coughs> i told her i asked her uh, what are you going to do there and she said me directly what she would like to do so she would like to meet someone so and it is very nice desire and she was open she was not hiding her will so and uh, i have never also heard that married lady would be cruel to another lady that was not cruel my, my sister-in-law that is also swedish lady uh, before i got married she never told me oh you want to live in my brother's apartment and you will not work and live on his money uh, she never told me like that in the beginning uh, before she became sick when she became sick yes she started to say things like that but uh, after a while she stopped she got a course at psychologist and then she stopped uh, telling uh, strange things so my friends and uh, so it was what i have heard yesterday in the news that and i upset that news showed that psychologist 
that will affinate ladies that um, paid a lot of money for this company that deceived them. Uh, and you know, I also know that psychologists do not have a lot of jobs. Uh, and some of them saying, oh, I don't have a lot of jobs. Why you don't have a lot of jobs? Because you are not helping. Uh, you are not needed, you can say. And uh, sometimes, very often, psychologists, they can give a piece of advice that person know. So I know, for example, that I have to do this, that and that, but I can't do it. It is not possible in my situation. For example, and psychologists, uh, so they cannot uh, say how to adjust to the situation. Why we go to psychologists? Because we have to somehow survive to adjust to the situation. But instead of that, they say to us things that we know themselves without them. And what we can get after, they will laugh with their family and friends over us. Very nice service, extremely perfect service. So, my friends, that's all that I wanted to share with you. So, just I wanted to tell you that in Sweden, like a woman, I feel, uh, I feel more safe. And uh, not any lady was laughing at me. And uh, it, is, uh, it is very good. Have a nice day.